In today's episode, I throw a tantrum. Threaten my golf clubs. Clubs might be on eBay at this rate. And finally hit a good putt. Go! Oh, you horse's ass! Very different looking hole from this back tee. I've got eight iron, just a chippy one. I'm just going to try and hold it against the right to left wind. And I would love to start this video with a two. It's a horrid strike and hopefully it'll work to my advantage. Get up the green. That works. Well, I definitely had too much club, but I'd rather have Lady Luck on my side than Tugatha Christie. So hopefully I can get myself into two's club. See if I can warm up the putter, that would be nice. How on earth did that go in? I'm sorry, I don't care. It's a two. Give me that. That had no right to go in. Welcome back to every shot of a two handicap golfers round in a first competition of the year, in fact. Just made a birdie on 10, which was wildly satisfying. Although probably unwarranted after two not great shots, but somehow went in. On to 11, driver. Plan is, tee this low, power fade off the left, into the middle, hold the fairway, and fall in love with golf again. That's spectacular. Oh yeah! That's quite easily the best tee shot I've ever hit on this hole, and I still can't hold the fairway. It's gone 309 yards, and I'm left with just 80 yards to the flag. Or thin it wide right. Yeah, I've not followed up my good drive with a good second, unfortunately, but it is a putt nonetheless. Disappointing approach, but I have a funny feeling here. I mean, whether I hole it or three putt, I'm not entirely sure. Go. Nah. Yeah, decent if not fantastic. I'll take a four. Not great. But not turd either. Cost playing tough today, guys. Happy to be under power on the back nine. A lot of work to be done though. But I'm going to give it a massive go, a good old thrash, and see what happens. Right, bombs away. <laughs> that is nuked. If I do say so myself. That's absolutely huge, by my standards. I enjoyed that a lot. It's all of 310 that tee shot, but I need to make it count. Wind didn't do anything with it. All right, pin Heisman, just a bit left of it. A bit too safe in the end. Good approach, not out of this world. But I'm overdue a birdie put going in, so let's go here. Although I say that and I hold one on 10, but just ignore that comment. No. Just a tiny little push, and that's enough to miss right. That is a pretty tough par four, even when you do bomb it down the middle. So I'm okay with the path. I feel like my game is simmering. It's in there, it's just not quite coming to the fore just yet. But let's go make a two. I've got a chippy nine from 137.1 apparently. That was a nice golf swing, but I've just hit it too well. Uh, it's an uphill putt, but it's a long way from the hole. Didn't get any fade, I'm afraid. Well, I have been so good from this distance today. I need to hit it a bit harder up the slope. 
simple as that. I feel like I've clubbed that up the slope and I've still come up a foot short. I can't even speak, it makes so little sense. Okay, it's a par. It's not the end of the world again. I'll take it. Here we go then, golfers. Par five, my favourite. Tough one from all the way back here. Well, it's safe. What's oh, a nice bounce? That'll be all right. We might not be able to get there though. I've oh, just about got away with it. It's not a bad lie. It's not a great one. It's a bit right. It's a lot right. It'll be okay. I had no idea it was so thick over here, but I've got it. And I'm about pin high. Just try and plop this on, let it roll down the green, and then try and make a birdie putt. I pull that left a bit. It's not too bad for distance, to be fair. Won't leave me with an easy putt. Rushing a tiny bit because we've been played through. A lot of right to left. Oh, it's not quite enough. Good for pace-ish, not really. Good for line, rather. But a five net four with handicap. Having quite a good back nine so far, actually. I've only made the one birdie, but it's been it's plain sailing since. Tough hole 15th. Would happily take a par. I'm going to mimic Paul and tempo town the arse off mine up the middle of the fairway. I believe that was what you said. Yeah, unfortunately Paul did go up 16 rather than 15, but he didn't specify. I'm going up 15, ideally. That's got to be the strangest golf swing I've ever made. It was bordering on helicopter. Absolutely perfect. Yes, and it's pumped down the middle and no complaints. Now, I must admit, I'm hitting some of the best drives of my life on the back nine. This is perfect, but I really have to, have to take advantage here. Just a three quarter 52, like a 90 yard shot. It's got to bounce up. That looks pretty good. I've got a thumbs up from Paul. I'll take it. Yeah, it's so hard to bend down. My legs are like stuck to the chinos. My ass cracks hanging out, I think. I feel like I've got a really good line on this. No, I haven't. I actually reached the hole, which was nice uphill. It never looked like going in. But I would normally snap your hand off for a par there and I'll do the same here. The problem with this is it's uh, left to right wind which means you have to sort of skirt with the out of bounds but if you don't back yourself you shouldn't really be playing golf it will cut sit oh what a bounce that is and i haven't paid my membership yet either in a similar vein to the last par five it's 276 middle, but that plays more like 250. So I've got hybrid again because the lie's not great. I'm just going to hack it down there. And it might get somewhere near. Yeah, I'll take that. If that takes a right bounce, we could be in business, which it did. That's really good. Whether it reaches or not, it's really good. Can't decide if I'm happy or annoyed with this one. We're nearly green side, but it's not a great lie again. Just land this on the front and let it release out. <clears throat> oh, I needed a yard more, potentially more. Ah, oh, it's not as close as I would have liked, unfortunately. Sloppy, sloppy golf. 
vast amount of right to left to begin with and then straightening out somewhat at the end. Um, not sure what to say about that really, other than not great, not bad either. I'm lost for words and that doesn't happen very often. I want to throw all my clubs into the stream and take up crown green balls until I make a hole in one here and then I'll love golf again. That's a nice swing but it's a bit left. That's going to be some entertainment now that I've got the putting yips. Well, this is everything I could have dreamed about after three stabs from nowhere on the last. Just a monster putt with about 12 feet of left to right. Confidence absolutely in the toilet. Go! Oh, you horse's ass! That was actually really good and I'm chuffed to pieces to come away with a three. Yeah, it's a good two put in the end. I'll take that. Still level par for a back nine as well. Right, this has been an absolute roller coaster. If you have stuck around, thank you very much. You're a real one. And I'm going to finish with a birdie. What a god awful golf swing. It's literally dropping out the sky. Wow, that is. So bad that it's good. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, chance of breaking par is gone. But it's been a good back nine in all honesty. If we can make a birdie here, that's under par. So I'm flopping this to Jesus. Whatever that means. <laughs> it's not getting there. Oh dear. Well, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but I don't think that was ever the way to go. But never mind. Wow, that went up quick. Clubs might be on eBay at this rate. If anybody fancies some 11-year-old Ben Ross irons, hit me up. Actually a half decent putt, but just a misread, and I'm not a happy bunny. Hope you've enjoyed. That's a terrible finish in five over par. Goodbye.